this is the first video um the lighting is bad and the sound probably is bad as well so <laughs> Welcome to the first video ever. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna go on with it anyway. So I actually recently went to the Pusheen Cafe in Brighton. So Pusheen is one of many Japanese pop culture character icons. Some notable ones can be as crazy as Hello Kitty, which is really big, to Pikachu, or even Rilakkuma Bear. So I actually left London very reasonably early in the morning to get to Brighton, which is only an hour and a half away, but still I wanted ample amounts of time to get there and settle in and just do a bunch of stuff, um, such as booking a table in advance on the day. So um, with the Pusheen Cafe, you actually have to go there physically, say, hey, I would like to book a table for today at this time. You can only book on the day that you are going there and you have to book in person because there is no online way of booking a table or calling in by a phone number. You actually have to book before you go in um, to sit if you want to eat. So we want to do the whole shebang, we want to do everything today. So we're going to go book. And I'm in and I just realised that. Okay, cool, I'm in, I'm in now. Sweet. So, um, the start of the store is actually a bit of a trap. They have a lot of merch everywhere and oh boy, oh boy, did I get a lot of stuff. Ah, this push, this, this machine has a hood on it. So it's gonna kind of do the whole thing that I've got on mine. So the Pusheen Cafe is essentially a cat cafe for people who are allergic to cats, like myself. It's like chewy pusheen. <laughs> Looks like Chewbacca. <laughs> so had the thing where like if you don't want to make a reservation, then or if you're short on time, you can definitely come into the front of the area because right behind me they also do snacks. Like, oh my god, it's a bag as well. It's a pillow and a bag in one. <laughs> Imagine taking this on a flight. Yeah. Look at this one. It's a nice one. I like big backpacks and I cannot lie. All the other ones can't deny. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Oh my heart. And he's got a little friend attached to him. Like, I'm never gonna leave you. We're chained together. Only closer. This is me, fly away. Me flying away from all my problems. Ah. So, someone's come down to uh, collect our reservations. So we're gonna go do that now, and we're gonna head up. So this is gonna be exciting.
room is like super duper cute. Lots of different options. Chocolate milk sundae, we have a pastel UFO sundae, machine sundae. Yeah, I'm gonna get a cotton candy sundae. They do tea. Even so, they have a pizza parody waffle. What? Is that real pizza? Oh, it's a dessert. Oh, it's a waffle. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a parody. Haha, <laughs> cookie lover waffle. Mmm, and a mall and a mellow dream waffle. Oh, hang on, I'm just gonna. Oh, hello. Free drink coaster. Oh, hello. With every hot or cold drink purchased, along with a. Lots of coffees. Ooh, they do mocktails as well. Ooh, that's really great. Lots of mocktails. And what else? So we have the also the back of it, which has the ice creams and sorbets, toppings and drinks. Really cute with the Halloween exclusive menu. And I believe that is it. Wow. So this is exciting. Yes. They actually had a list of really lovely waffles and sundaes and coffees. Um, I went for something called the affogato. I really wish I didn't, um, but hey, what can you do? While my sister, in fact, got a mocha, which had a really cute picture of Pusheen that was designed on the top. Literally, they put Pusheen in every version possible on every single thing. There was Pusheens all over the walls. There was Pusheen in a mug, in a cup, in a glass, in a cutlery and everything. And it was so darn cute. You just wanted to take everything home with you. Little Pusheen t-shirt on as well. It's a bunch of cuteness in here. Like it's just so many Pusheens and I'm so happy about it. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm in a bundle of cuteness. There was the first waffle that my sister saw and she wanted to get this one was the cookie level waffle. It had cookies, it had toffee, it had fudge, it had salted caramel ice cream on top of the waffle, it had a picture of Pusheen, while my one was called a pizza parody. So it essentially had lots of like raspberry sorbet in it, had an ice cream piece on the side, kind of to show like this is tomato sauce. There was in fact a waffle that had a marshmallow on top, like a giant marshmallow that that Pusheen was like sleeping slash slit sitting on. So that was amazing and I wish I had that one but I didn't. But this little girl definitely was having the time of her life eating it. So this is my bag of stuff that I got. Yay! Literally, when you're in the Pusheen Art Box Cafe, you want to take everything with you. You want to take the placemat, you want to take the cutlery, you want to take everything. And oh boy, did I do that. So I did take the placemat, which my food was on, because I thought that was just super cute. It had lots of like little Pusheens on it, really, really adorable. If you are booking a table upstairs, they actually give you a little freebie to take away at the end of your day. So I got this cute little tin. So it says eat, it says sleep, eat, and then repeat at the bottom. It's very pusheen. It is a mood and a half of its own, honestly. These are the cutest little earrings I've ever seen, ever. And I couldn't help myself but buy them. So they're really, really cute. They're really simple. They're not the types that are going to be really big and dangly and go all over the place. I also wanted ones that are like not too small, that it's like not worth the money and not noticeable. I wanted something that you can see, but it's small enough that I could still move around. Really adorable. They actually served a lot of things in these types of mugs when I was there. Had some green tea in it, had all sorts of different drinks. They served these mugs a lot and I just had to get one for myself. For some weird reason, I really like collecting sticky notes and then not writing anything on them. I don't know why, but I got some more sticky notes. I'm someone who wears backpacks a lot and I find them more convenient for me. I never understood anyone with a, I don't know, a Gucci handbag. I don't get it. I'm personally a backpack person. I like a backpack that can stand a bit of wear and tear and it's not gonna like break the bank or break my heart if it breaks. Um, so yeah, I just really think it's adorable, it's cute, um, for what it is, it's not that bad, it's 
got a nice amount of space on the inside for a lot of different things. I feel like I'm definitely going to be able to take this on flights with me because it's like small enough to go as like a carry-on piece or whatever. So it's really convenient, really cute. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Right, so for the merch shop, um, overall I spent, including the tax and everything, was £46, which is really not that bad. I don't think it was. I mean, when I saw it at the time, I was a bit like, who? But it's actually pretty decent for the, for the things that I bought. But of course, you gotta be mindful what you're buying just to make sure that you're not spending or underspending or overspending. Nothing wrong with underspending, but hey, if you overspend, he! Time for the food. Um, so overall, the cotton candy sundae, which my sister and I shared because we were really full at the end, was nine pounds. The waffle cookie lover and the pizza parody was eight pound each. The mocha my sister got was three pounds, while the affogato I got was four pound fifty. Yeah, I don't think that was worth the money. But well then, that's um everything. Um, yeah. I'm definitely gonna go back again. If you wanna see some weird stuff I do next, then feel free to subscribe yet again. Uh, feel free to enjoy the rest of your day. Have a lovely day. Stay safe, stay blessed. Bye bye. Mwah.